All right, <clears throat> deposit package. So welcome back, everybody, to Detroit Become Human. So just deposit the package, I guess. That's... And tree boards. So there's something over here I can interact with. It's a good-looking fella. Oh, is that a droid bird? Oh, so does he like live by himself? There's no way he lives by himself, though. Wait, Carl upstairs. Okay. So I'm looking for Carl. Make sure there's nothing else I'm missing while I'm here. So yeah, already I can say, even though not a lot has happened, I have been enjoying playing this. Um, huh. Interesting piece. Let's see. We got probably some down there. Art. Is it this way? Oh, didn't even notice this door here. Too busy looking to the right the whole time. <clears throat> Hello. Draw the curtains. Uh. Good morning, Carl. Good morning. It's 10 a.m. The weather is partly cloudy, 54 degrees, 80 percent humidity with a strong possibility of afternoon showers. It sounds like a good day to spend in bed. I did go to pick up the paint that you ordered. Oh, yes, I've forgotten. That is the difference between you and me, right, Marcus? You never forget anything. Sure don't. Show me your arm, please, Carl. No. Carl. Thank you. Hmm. I just opened my eyes and I'm already gritting my teeth. Humans are such a fragile machine. They break down so quickly. All this effort to keep them going. Hey. What happened to your clothes? Oh, it's nothing. Just some demonstrators in the street, Carl. What a bunch of idiots. They think they can stop progress by roughing up a few androids? I hope they didn't harm you. Oh, no, no. They just pushed me around, Carl. I'm fine. Okay. I'll take you to the bathroom now. Oh. What an exciting life to live. I don't know, maybe it's just me. This guy kind of looks like uh, Bishop from Aliens. Like I said, maybe that's just me, though. And, uh... We're that cutesy couple. Alright, and back to the bed we go. Or to the wheelchair. That works too. I wonder what happened if I stopped. If I just stopped walking, or would I have just, uh. Or if I would have Anything dropped. Anything special on the agenda today? Yes, there's the opening of your retrospective at the Museum of Modern Art. Mm. The gallery director left four messages asking to confirm your attendance. Hold on a second. It's... Hmm. I haven't decided yet. We'll see about that later. Okay. What else? Just your usual fan mail. I've already answered. Hmm. 
Any news from Leo? No, Carl. I can call him if you like. No. No, I don't bother. All right, dining room. Not 100% sure which one's the dining room. It's probably the big doors. I'm starving. Well, your breakfast is ready. Bacon and eggs, just the way you like them. Thank you, Marcus. You're welcome. This game really is almost like the, like, chore simulator. Thank you, Marcus. Television. Why don't you find something to do while I finish my breakfast? I'm sure. Mm -hmm. Okay, Carl. got that breakfast is served find something to do and we got some suggestions lying around the american ambassador again informed of the emergency meeting of the u.n that the united states uh something right there century That was interesting. Um, got a few more things here. Read a book. Shakespeare, Keats Ode, find something else. Plateau. Let's look up Plateau. What are you reading? Plato's Republic. It's one of the books you recommended. So, what do you think? I quite like philosophy, I think. It asks the questions that I can't answer. You know, what is right or what is wrong, for example. It's not something that is so easy to decide. Asking questions that have no answers is part of being human, Marcus. One day I won't be here to take care of you anymore. You'll have to protect yourself and make your choices. Decide who you are and want to become. This world doesn't like those who are different, Marcus. Don't let anyone tell you who you should be. Let's go to the studio. Take Carl to the studio. All right. Let's see where he left off. Remove the sheep. Will do, buddy boy. Oh. Clean the studio. Will do. Aye, aye, you captain.
Wait for new instructions, my life. What's your verdict, Marcus? Like, don't like, no opinion. Yes, there is something about it. Hmm. Something I can't quite define. I guess I like it. The truth is, I have nothing left to say anymore. Each day that goes by brings me closer to the end. I'm just an old man clinging to his brushes. Carl. But enough about me. Let's see if you have any talent. Um, <laughs> let's Can not do that. Something. Paint? But would I... Painting what? Anything you want. Give it a try. <sighs> All right. Moment I've been waiting for to be Lorne. It's officially the Lorne simulator. Let's do it. Find a subject to paint. There's a statue. There's a desk. Is there any other cool things? Paint Carl's painting. That'd be a little... That's plagiarism, and I'm not doing that. All right, well, the statue seems like the coolest thing. I don't know what I'm doing. Wisps. I don't know which way... It's supposed to be directing me to push to slide the button, but I guess I'm doing it right. I do got that talent. That is a perfect copy of reality. The painting is not about replicating the world. It's about interpreting, improving on it, showing something you see. Carl, I don't think I can do that. It's not in my program. I... Go on, go, try it. Grab that canvas. Okay. I warned you. About to see a side of me that you do not like. Do something for me. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Trust me. Try to imagine something that doesn't exist, something you've never seen. Now concentrate on how it makes you feel and let your hand drift across the canvas. Let's paint some happy little clouds. Some happy little trees where Bob Ross all of a sudden. Androids, humanity, identity. Identity sounds pretty deep. Androids, despair, doubts, prisoner. I guess androids. Hmm. Impressive, huh? Hey, Dad. Leo. I didn't hear you come in. No, I was in the neighborhood. I thought I'd stop by. It's been a while, right? You all right? You don't look so good. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> hey, listen. Uh, I need some cash, Dad. Again? What happened to the money I just gave you? Uh, well, it's, it just goes, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're on it again, aren't you? No. No, no, I swear, it's not that. No, don't lie to me, Leo. What difference does it make? I just need some cash, that's all. Sorry. The answer is no. What? Why? You know why. Yeah, yeah, I think I do know why. 
<laughs> you'd rather you'd rather take care of your uh, plastic toy here than your own son, right? Tell me, Dad, what's what's it got that I don't? It's smarter, more obedient, not like me, right? But you know what? This thing is not your son. It's a fucking machine. Leo, that's enough. Enough. You don't care about anything except yourself and your goddamn paintings. You've never loved anyone. You never loved me, Dad. You never loved me. Jesus. Well then, okay. Some issues going on there. All right, looks like I just about 100%ed it, maybe. It's very does androids. We are intruded to ask for money. Looks like that was the only possible situation. They all led to that. <laughs> so, humanity, droids, pain from the heart, copy statue. Um, rebook. All right, so the other things... All right, so the other thing is I just had two different options of what I could have done instead of reading the book. Fair enough, fair enough. <clears throat> no androids allowed. Yeah, I might want to turn around, buddy. Okay, I guess we're doing it anyways. Because fuck the rules. Is that Kofi Kingston in the back? Find Lieutenant Anderson. All right. Well, okay, I guess I better, oh, I can scan him. Jimmy Peterson. Born as one business owner, criminal record, he has none. They're not. What's your problem? Yeah, what's your problem, buddy? Scan faces. I don't know. Jonah Graham. I'm gonna assume he's probably in the back. Dennis Ward. Hey, don't mind if I come back here, right? Chris Roberts. Sure, I don't look too suspicious. Hello. Oh, guess can't do that. Maybe I did pass him. Christopher Gray. There he is. Lieutenant Anderson. My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. I looked for you at the station, but nobody knew where you were. They said you were probably having a drink nearby. I was lucky to find you at the fifth bar. What do you want? You were assigned a case early this evening. A homicide involving a Cyberlife android. In accordance with procedure, the company has allocated a specialized model to assist investigators. Well, I don't need any assistance. Especially not from a plastic asshole like you. So just be a good little robot and get the fuck out of here. Reason threatening, understanding persists. I understand that some people are not comfortable in the presence of androids, but I, I am perfectly comfortable. Now back off before I crush you like an empty beer can. Listen, I think you should stop drinking and come with me. It'll make life easier for both of us. You know what? I'll buy you one for the road. 
What do you say? Bartender, the same again, please. See, that gym wonders the technology. Make it a double. All righty, look at that. We're we're doing good. I'm surprised. <laughs> oh well, things are not gonna stay good. I can already tell. Homicide. You wait here. I'm not gonna do that. Whatever uh, I guess I am. Fucking angry over this thing. I'm doing good. I don't know. Josh Douglas for Channel 16. Can you confirm that this is a homicide? Alright, I'm not staying in here. I'm not confirming anything. What am I looking for? Follow him. Androids are not permitted beyond this point. It's with me. Yeah, what a nice guy. What part of stay in the car didn't you understand? Your order contradicted my instructions, Lieutenant. You don't talk, you don't touch anything, and you stay out of my way. Got it? Got it. Even at Hank, we were starting to think you weren't going to show. Yeah, that was the plan till this asshole found me. So, you got yourself an android, huh? Oh, very funny. Just tell me what happened. We had a call around 8 from the landlord. The tenant hadn't paid his rent for a few months, so he thought he'd drop by, see what was going on. That's when he went on the bar. Alright, just make sure there's nothing outside that we're missing. Alright, it looks like we're all good. Oh, Jesus, that smell! It's even worse before we open the windows. The victim's name's Carlos Ortiz. He has a record for theft and aggravated assault. According to the neighbors, he was kind of a loner. Stayed inside most of the time. They hardly ever saw him. Wow, well, stayed easy and wasn't worth calling everybody. No finger points. Android involvement? Yeah, out in the middle of the night. Could have waited till morning. I'd say he's be. Dried blood. Been there for a good three weeks. We'll know more when the coroner gets here. There's a kitchen knife over here. Probably the murder weapon. Any sign of a break? Oh, it's that drug. Again. Nope. The landlord said the front door was locked from the inside. All the windows were boarded up. The Dried blood, Carlos Ortiz. Killer must have gone out the back way. What do we know about his android? Not much. The neighbors confirmed he had one, but it wasn't here when we arrived. I, I gotta get some air. Make yourself at home, I think. I'll be outside if you need me. What's over here? Nothing of interest. again. Fingerprints. Signs of a struggle. Android sex officially better. Sorry, ladies, but plastic can't be beat. Um, tech addict. That's weird. I wonder what this stuff has to do with anything. Our beach bod. All right. All right, so 
so one of the knives is missing. And we got a bat here. Fingerprints, that looks like Ortiz's. So he must have grabbed that to defend himself. Who did he hit? Violent impact traces of Ethereum. Let's reconstruct it. took a knife. He grabbed a bat. So he was attacking somebody. Emotional shock. Deviant was attacked. Emotional shock. So then the person grabbed a knife and stabbed him. But he definitely didn't stay dead. Something's over here. We should better. It's perfect. No, that's Prince just that. No human rights like this. Chris, is this written in the victim's blood? I would say so. No, we're taking samples for analysis. Red ice. Seems our friend Carl. Looks like the party. Chris, I want full analysis on the narcotics. That's weird. Serve the writing. Down here. Some sort of statue. Religious offering? Hmm. Looks like a classic case of suicide if I've ever seen one. Alright, he says that I should have like one more piece of evidence. So I just gotta find out where that last piece Consider of evidence is. Consider it done, is. Lieutenant. Mike, you finished taking samples there? Yeah, that's it. Oh, the victim's body, of course. Didn't even notice. Didn't even notice you. Analyze. Regular letters, fonts, cyber life songs. Alright, let's check the body. Fly. He's already been dead for a while. He was stabbed quite a few times, it looks like. So he was on drugs. Alright, let's wait. Alright, one more piece of evidence I need to find. Alright, there we go. Fingerprints. Got it. Reconstructed. Oh, he tripped over the alcohol bottle. Victim fell. And before that, victim was stabbed. And before that, They came from the kitchen, which seems kind of obvious to me. He was stabbed 28 times. Jesus. Yeah. Seems like the killer really had it in for him. All right, report to Lieutenant. Is that everything? Report to, yep, looks like it. Lieutenant, I think I figured out what happened. Oh, yeah? Shoot, I'm all ears. It all started... In the living room, in the bathroom, in the kitchen. In the kitchen. There are obvious signs of a struggle. The question is, what exactly happened here? I think the victim attacked the android... ...with a bat. With the bat. That lines up with the evidence. Go on. Victim stabbed the android. The android threw the chair. The android stabbed the victim. 
So the android was trying to defend itself, right? Okay, then what happened? The victim fled to... The living room. The living room. sense. The android murdered the victim. The knife. Bad without a weapon. With the knife? Yeah. Okay. Your theory's not totally ridiculous. But it doesn't tell us where the android went. It was damaged by the bat and lost some therium. Lost some what? Therium. You call it blue blood. It's the fluid that powers androids' biocomponents. It evaporates after a few hours and becomes invisible to the naked eye. Oh, but I bet you can still see it, can't you? Correct. Yeah. All right, now I just gotta search for the blue blood traces. Which I'm seeing some over there, apparently. All right. Excuse me, sir. You're getting in the way of my investigation. All right, that's definitely not it. Oh, blue blood right down here. All right, so bat. What else am I looking for? Wherever it went. All right, so this blue blood, and now it's like leaking over here. Where does it go though? ladder was used. So there was a ladder here. Traces lead to the attic. Find something to climb. Okay, well let's open this, see if... That's ah, not climbable. Chair. Hey, 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 what are you doing with that chair? I'm going to check something. Don't worry, I got this. Uh -huh. Check something. Ah, that's creepy. Play my next move carefully. Search the attic. Um, look for deviant. All right. Well, the they're not exactly hidden well from what I can tell so far. Uh, mannequin knew it. This game's getting really creepy all of a sudden. Sure, it was a self-defense. This guy's probably innocent. Though I don't know, he did seem pretty hostile stabbing him that many times. <laughs> he must have really had something against this guy. Hello. I was just defending myself. I believe you. He was gonna kill me. I'm begging you. Don't tell him. Connor, what the fuck is going on up there? 
It's here, Lieutenant! What? Holy shit. Chris, Ben, get your asses in here now! Didn't even give me a cho choice. Come on! Wow! It didn't even give me the option. Alright, so it looks like... Unless I'm missing something here, but I don't think so. Alright, I don't... Construct the crime, follow... Alright, so I don't think no matter what, I could have... Uh, I mean, unless I just ended up messing up and not knowing where he was. No matter what, I had to, like, tell on him. Like, be like, oh, no, he's right here. Okay, so... <laughs> All right. Oh, this is getting interesting. I feel sorry for that android, though. I was totally going to just be like, ah, no, nothing up here, guys. Just uh, keep on going with your lice. But, yeah, it automatically had him rat him out. So, all right. Uh, I'm interested to see where this is going then. So, if you're just as interested as I am, make sure you guys tune in on the next episode of Detroit Become Human. Oh, boy. Don't forget also to like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter. I always appreciate it. And for subscribing, you guys, you guys are awesome. So, anyways, see you guys on the next episode. Have a great day. Goodbye!